AI is getting more and more powerful. Recently, you would have seen the example from Sora. Dancing in a lab light, red panda in flight, running from the fate, can't escape the night. Tiny feet are racing, petri dish they're facing, wanna find a way out from this unwanted placing. Running faster now. The videos they can make are absolutely incredible. But at this moment in time, it's still kind of difficult to create your own video AIs from prompt. But today I got sent a link to a new AI out of China that I wanted to share with you. Here is something that is kind of glitchy, kind of interesting, but you can use text prompts to create any couple of second video you want. So if we take, for example, Keanu Reeves on a horse eating noodles, you get this. <laughs> wow, I know, I know, it's not right. It doesn't look right, but it's only the beginning. So what is this? Well, find out after the intro. Okay, this won't be a long video at all because this site is right now being bombarded by heaps and heaps of users. So let me show you what it looks like. It's Chinese, you can translate it, but when using Google Chrome, the translation breaks the actual website. But have a look at some of these examples right here. They look absolutely incredible. Might have to zoom in for you to see this. Check that out. That is some amazing, amazing video creation from some pretty intense prompts. Can I put this full screen? There we go. This prompt is the camera initiates a deliberate descent from a vantage point high above, offering a panoramic view of an age old battlefield from the elevated perspective. That's pretty intense. I think my internet is playing up, but this site is being bombarded right now. So I expect it to be all very slow. So I have a prompt I want to put in, and I guess after that, it's up to your own imagination what you can make. My prompt is straight out of AI, and I've asked the AI, as an open AI, if I can find the page where I asked it, I said, give me a prompt for an AI video generator to describe Frodo from Lord of the Rings in this home drinking beer. And I am absolutely using AI to create another AI. So we're gonna paste the prompt in here, and really, you just press the big green button. I mean, you don't, probably don't need to know Chinese to know that you need to press the green button. Now, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to cut it there and we'll meet back when this is 100%. Whew, holy skadoodles. No words, look at that thumbnail. That looks incredible, okay. I have not seen it yet. I've just loaded it up. Let's have a look at what Frodo looks like in his home drinking a beer. <laughs> wow. Okay, the, the hands look weird. Like, I'll give them that feet. Well, they look whimsical enough. The fire, yeah, it's under the books. That probably doesn't work very well, but as far as an imagination when you're reading a book and putting it into something visual, uh, that's pretty darn impressive. And the resolution and color and quality is incredible. This application, and let me get the name right, it's Halo AI with something from Minimax. It's a combination of two companies and they've released a prompt to video generate it. It is absolutely free. You don't need to uh, subscribe or you know, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but that's incredible. Let's do another one. And this one's gonna be a little bit more Australian. Check this out. Create a scene inside the Australian parliament showing a group of government officials voting on the future of the national broadband network. Replace the heads of all officials with koala or kangaroo heads while keeping the rest of the bodies dressed in formal business suits. Some officials are standing and raising their heads to vote while others are seated at desks discussing and taking notes. The room is decorated with Australian flags, a large wooden podium and parliamentary emblems. The scene conveys a mix of seriousness and humor with the koala and kangaroo it's appearing focused and engaged in the voting process. This prompt blends whimsical elements of the animal heads with seriousness of the government vote, capturing the unique and playful 
nature of the scene. Let's delete that last line. I don't think we need that, but let's press go and see how that turns out. Now, while I have you here and we're talking about AI, I have a little, an example to do for you. In the start, I will insert a video from Sona who will show a snippet of some red pandas running around from a Petri dish. Now, I wanna add some music to that. Let's use AI to do that. This is Suno. You can create both lyrical videos with uh, music and sound and singing or an instrumental bit. And all you have to do is put in some text to prompt it. So let's put in, you know, dancing red panda and they are running from a Petri dish that's trying to escape. And let's go create. It's gonna have some text, some music, and we can have a little listen. Dancing in a lab light, red panda in flight, running from the fake, can't escape the night. Tiny feet are racing, petri dish they're facing, wanna find a way out from this unwanted placing. Last one. You remember the prompt? We're going to the Australian government. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> there's koalas, there's kangaroos, there's some recognizable faces there. And there, the writing, you can sort of see it just over there, National Broadband Network. What a hoot. What an absolute hoot. Honestly, this is realistic as I've ever imagined the Australian government. So there you have it folks, Halu AI out of China, free for now, have a play, have a Google, see what you can come up with, share it on my Discord, I'd love to see it, links below of course. This is amazing. What's the real use case of this? I don't know. Is it going to replace any jobs anytime soon? Maybe in the marketing space? but it's just not ready for full time. It still looks a little bit strange. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in another one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.